Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Mystic Destiny Serendipity of Aeons. Shin J's are out. Let's go. If we take too long, she might realize that Killian is missing. After that display with Killian, I don't even want to say her name. Even th thinking it leaves me feeling like I want to punch something. When we arrive at the castle, we find it suspiciously empty. I fight back a shiver as we walk down the terrace. There are no sounds. Even nature has become eerily quiet. And yet, I get a weird feeling that we're being watched. Does anyone else feel that? Father and son nod. I imagine Mother Dearest is expecting us. I snort. <laughs> we wouldn't want to be bad guests, right? Let's go greet the hostess then. I'm sorry, I had to burp while using his voice, and that felt really weird. Anyway, <laughs> everything about the situa situation feels tense, but the jokes help calm the nerves somewhat. Never in my life did I imagine doing something like this, and yet here I am. I dressed up in, dressed up in magical armor, part of a rather snarky team that's about to go fight an evil queen. Lachlan takes the lead, walking ahead of us, since he's the only one who knows where to go. Shinji and I walk side by side. God, Shinji's so hot in that. Mm. <laughs> he briefly brushes his hand against mine. Even without words, I know what he's trying to say. It'll be okay. The throne room is just over there. Get ready. Who knows what she might have in store for us. Lachlan starts to move, then stops and looks back at us again. Before we go in, a warning. There is a saying, beware of the fae and their twisted tongues. So just keep that in mind at all times when we face her. With that said, he continues and leads us forward. To lead us forward. Ooh. Oh, look at the swans. Interesting. This is an interesting looking castle. Hmm. The first thing I notice upon walking into the throne room is the guards. So many of them, all neatly standing by the wall. I don't see any guards, I see swans. No. <laughs> my, eyes follow along a, a, my eyes follow along the long line of guards to Sorica, who isn't hard to spot. She sits on the throne with a guard at each side. They look exactly alike. They look like they're just clones. <laughs> I welcome your, you, dear guests. The sweetness in her voice is sickening. She looks as kind as she always has, but I can no longer shake the feeling of utter and complete wrongness. Her eyes are much like Shinji's, yet so completely wrong. They go from me to Shinji and stop on Lachlan. Her smile doesn't falter in the slightest, turning sad instead. I am saddened to see you come to me with Lachlan. Has he charmed you so that you believe me, the villain? She waves her guards away without a word. They move to stand by the wall. Lachlan laughs, but it sounds so hollow and mocking. <laughs> Drop the act already. You're not fooling anyone anymore. <laughs> Fine. It was a rather tiresome role to play. And you got me. Good for you. I must congratulate you, my darling. Wait. What? It says Shinji. I think that's Sorika. I must congratulate you, my darling husband. I was about to say Shinji won't say that. You won the round. I stare at her face in numb disbelief. Even though I knew about it, actually seeing the switch in Sorika's demeanor feels unreal. Not content with just watching the scene unfold, I step forward. Why? Why are you doing all this? Her eyes focus on me, and I have to stop myself from visibly recoiling from the disgust on her face. Ah, you. You want to know why? The reason is rather simple. Mommy had me so Mommy had me so she could live a cozy, rich life. She wanted to be queen. Daddy didn't want to be a king, so she got rid of him and made it look like someone else had done it. Mommy dearest taught me all I know. 
she went through husband after husband, each and every one of them dying in some mysterious way. I helped, of course. Ever the little helper that I was. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. Oh. But it was even... It was ever so dreadful living under her boot. I became bored of it. Of her. She laughs, but the gentle musical laughter I heard before is no more. It's... This sound sent a chill through my bones. <laughs> All I, it took is switching out the wine glasses for her and her toy at the time, and... Bye-bye, Mommy. Oh, God. Ooh, that gives me chills. Just even saying it. Shinji clicks his tongue. So, so what? Is this story supposed to make me, make us feel, uh, it's, I don't know why when I do his voice, I just mess up like crazy. So what? Is this story supposed to make us feel for your sad, miserable life? Feel bad? No, I do not care in the slightest. Then why? Hmm, for fun? Or perhaps to scare you? Who can guess? You seem to be doing it for your own amusement, more than anything else. Perhaps making us feel bad about your past would just be like some sort of delightful joke to you. She claps slowly. Bravo, son. You have me all figured out. You take so much after me. Shinji looks so disgusted that he can't even talk. Perhaps if I had gotten to raise you, things would have turned out differently. We could have taken Avalon together by now. She looks to Lachlan. But you just had to go and ruin my perfectly laid out plans. I would have given you a quick death after a short life of happiness. How very kind of you. Yes, I am quite kind, but you ruined my plans, so you no longer deserve any kindness from me. I glance to all the motionless guards. I wonder what they think of their queen. You keep saying Lachlan ruined your plans, but you're the one who's revealing them in front of everyone. She snorts. <laughs> what, then? Them? Yeah, okay, so they are drones. They are little more than mindless drones by now. Or maybe not. I don't know. She's just warped. If I told them to jump off a cliff, they would go do as instructed without a single thought. That is warped. Yeah, that's disgusting. That, That's just disgusting. Killian would have done the same, but the fool was so in love with me, I didn't see any need to bother. Sorika stands up from her seat. She walks slowly gracefully. It seems as if she's simply gliding along the floor. If not for the sound of her heels clicking against the stone floor, I would think as much. She stands before us, and for the first time, I truly see what a beautiful family they might have made. Outwardly, they look intimidatingly beautiful together, so completely picture perfect. Except beyond appearances, they're not. I stand between Sorika and Shinji. You should realize that your plans have failed completely. If you stop this now, you can save yourself the fight. Well, aren't you precious? I almost sounded so southern. Well, aren't you precious? No. <laughs> She's not even taking me seriously? I take a step closer to her. You told us your sob story. But what do you think you'll gain here, truly? Sorika stares down at me silently. The old me might have been scared by her, but I won't back down. Is it not obvious, you silly little girl? I want to take my rightful place in the world. If I cannot take the throne as High Queen myself, I will do the next best thing. My darling son will rule for me. He will be High King, but I will be the true power behind the throne. Shinji steps forward to stand at my side. He quietly places a hand on my shoulder. In what background, well, my god, in what backward dimension do you think I would just let you do that? You forget that not everyone bends to your will. Without warning, Swetika moves forward. I see it happen as in slow motion. She reaches out to grab Shinji's face, but just before she can, I react. 
I slap her hand away hard. Do not interrupt me, you filthy little witch. I don't back down. Standing taller instead, I look her right in the eye. This is not something I was ever proud of. I never had any reason to be proud. So, it never even occurred to me to be proud of what I am, but... I am a sorceress. If my powers help me protect the people I love, then I will stand proud. I will become an unstoppable force. I will not let anyone hurt those precious to me. But don't you worry your pretty little head. I'm sure it's hard to remember such things when you're clearly not all there. If it's what I have to do, I will become the greatest sorceress that ever lived. What? How dare you? She glares down at me. Then she starts to laugh. <laughs> I should have guessed from the start that you would be trouble. Oh, wait. How was that name? Oh, I think it's it think like Alworth, I Alworth, whatever it was. As Alworth's favored, of course you would. Chaos naturally follows your kind. Is that true? Such a shame. I had hoped to avoid having to hurt a creation from the god of chaos. But I can at least make him proud of how I deal with you. Sorika walks towards the throne, stopping to stand right in front of me. Guards, kill my husband and capture my son. I am going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!